is just very unsettling. I've never had anything like this happen before. After 20 years of calling Englewood Avenue home, neighbors like Maureen are stunned. Very quiet, very family oriented. You know your neighbors, you know your friends. To have this happen is just unbelievable. She's a little girl. She's a little girl. And they willingly did that. Like, looked, saw. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what upsets me. You saw that she was a little girl and did that. That's ridiculous. When did it become okay to harm women and children? When did that, when did, the, when did, when did those gloves come off? This story brings us to Worcester, Massachusetts, where Chastity Nunes, a 27-year-old mom, and her 11-year-old daughter, Zella, faced a tragic event on March 5, 2024. The city seemed calm and sunny that day. Little did Chastity know that this sunshine would soon be overshadowed by the darkness of an unthinkable act. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. Chastity Nunes, a devoted mother of two beautiful daughters, is a dedicated professional working at the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. Originally from Brooklyn, New York, Chastity pursued her higher education at the University of Maryland. Despite being a single mother, she has proven to be an exceptional parent, known for her love and care for her daughters. Professionally, Chastity has made significant contributions to the field of healthcare, holding the position of a patient safety and clinical quality program coordinator at MIT Health. Her background also includes service as a patient administration specialist for the Connecticut National Guard, stationed in Danbury. Chastity's commitment to both her family and her career reflects her unwavering strength and dedication. On March 5, 2024, Chastity and Zella Nunes were enjoying a typical day, seated peacefully in their parked SUV on Inglewood Avenue. Out of nowhere, gunfire erupted, shattering the tranquility of the moment. Chastity, a devoted mother, and Zella, her 11-year-old daughter, who was legally blind, found themselves in the midst of a horrifying situation. Neighbors, alarmed by the commotion, rushed to their aid, but the damage had already been done. The assailant's sudden attack left Chastity and Zella critically wounded. Swiftly responding to the emergency, paramedics arrived at the scene, transporting them to the hospital by ambulance. Despite the efforts of medical professionals, both Chastity and Zella tragically succumbed to their injuries, leaving the community in profound shock and grief. The motives behind this senseless act of violence remained unclear, compelling everyone to grapple with unanswered questions as they mourned the devastating loss. Continue to follow breaking news out of Worcester, where a mother and daughter were shot and killed while sitting inside an SUV. The car they were in was riddled with bullet holes with more than 40 evidence markers surrounding the SUV. As WBZ's Beth Germano reports, Worcester police are now searching for those responsible. This is a shooting that has stunned a Worcester neighborhood and now has police trying to figure out who is behind this horrible tragedy. Police do now confirm that a mother and her daughter have died from gunshot wounds after essentially being ambushed while sitting in a parked car on Englewood Avenue around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Now, neighbors described hearing a hail of bullets, and later police were seen putting at least 40 evidence markers on that street. All this coming in a neighborhood that is described as very quiet and residential. Police are trying to figure out who the shooter or shooters may be. This remains a very active investigation, and we hope to have an update from police later today. In Worcester, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Police say the two victims were ambushed, the street lined with evidence markers indicating the level of violence that erupted as neighbors called 911. Englewood Ave, there's a Nissan Rogue at that location. It's got bullet holes all down the side of it. City Councilor Etel Hajie, who lives up the street, says she's devastated by what happened and hopes the neighborhood can continue to feel a sense of safety. The loss of life of these two precious two human beings and um, a mother and daughter. and. Um, I, yeah, I just have no words for how devastated this feels. Now the question, who was behind the shooting and why? The community grappled with the loss as the investigation unfolded, revealing that the victims were ambushed in broad daylight, 
Surveillance footage captured the chilling moment when two individuals approached the parked SUV, opening fire with a callous disregard for the lives within. The suspects fled the scene, leaving behind a devastated neighborhood and a city in shock. And I could hear this sound that was not like anything I've heard before. I'm getting reports of uh, between 12 and 20 gunshots. Neighbors say the shots were loud and fast, piercing through this Worcester neighborhood in broad daylight Tuesday afternoon. Within seconds, it was over and done with, but you could hear dozens of rounds going off within just a few seconds. Bullet holes riddled a parked SUV on Englewood Avenue, where the mother and daughter were inside, shot and seriously wounded, both later dying at the hospital. It's just very unsettling. I've never had anything like this happen before. After 20 years of calling Englewood Avenue home, neighbors like Maureen are stunned. Very quiet, very family oriented. You know your neighbors, you know your friends. To have this happen is just unbelievable. To have anybody shot in the street is unusual in and itself. And it's really sad for the other families who are having to undergo this. They heard round after round after round going off. Then police got the 911 calls about the shooting just after 3 p.m. Englewood Ave, there's a Nissan Rogue at that location. It's got bullet holes all down the side of it. When investigators arrived, they found the two females suffering from serious gunshot wounds. Whoever was responsible for the shooting was gone. This kind of thing is unusual for the city in general. I mean, this is a very violent act. Uh, you're right, this is a quiet neighborhood, but it would be unusual anywhere. The alleged shooters involved in the heartbreaking incident, which claimed the lives of Chassidy Nunes and her 11-year-old daughter, Zella Nunes, have been identified as 28-year-old Carol Mangle and 27-year-old Dijon Delnavis. Carol Mangle, with a troubling criminal history including a prior guilty plea for armed assault to murder, was arrested in Worcester and faces charges of armed assault to murder and carrying a firearm without a license. On the other hand, Dejan Belnavis, wanted for armed assault with intent to murder and firearm possession without a license, remains at large and is considered armed and dangerous. Detectives are now trying to piece together what led up to the shooting, while neighbors hope whoever caused the concerning violence is caught soon. What other damage are they causing to somebody else's family? You know, it would be nice to have them caught quickly and brought to justice. Prosecutors say the alleged gunman took off and were traced here to Hartford, where the suspect on the run has relatives. The National Guards woman and her sixth grade daughter shot to death Tuesday in what police are calling an ambush attack. It happened in the middle of the afternoon in Worcester, Massachusetts, late enough in the day to capture the double murder clearly on surveillance cameras. Police reviewed security video which shows uh, the victim's vehicle parked on the side of the road people walk up to the vehicle and start shooting the vehicle. Fox 61 counted more than two dozen bullet holes in this white Nissan Rogue. The one 27-year-old Chastity Nunez and her 11-year-old daughter Zella were sitting in when they were killed. Prosecutors believe two men are responsible for the crime, who they say circled the area in a white sedan before opening fire. A witness wrote down the license plate number and reported it to police. Was the police uh, we're able to connect with the vehicle's car system through at and and we're able to locate the vehicle in Hartford, Connecticut about a little bit over an hour after the shooting. Police say 28-year-old Carell Manguel was arrested back in Worcester on armed assault to murder and gun charges and appeared in court on Wednesday. But the search continues for his alleged accomplice, 27-year-old Dejan Belnavis, last seen on surveillance video in Hartford. A check of uh, Belnavis, Mr. Belnavis showed that he had a relative who was as Worcester mourned the loss of a mother and her young daughter, the community rallied together to support the Nunes family. A GoFundMe campaign emerged, seeking financial assistance for funeral expenses and the care of Chastity's two-year-old daughter left behind. The outpouring of love and solidarity served as a beacon of hope in a time of darkness. This remains a very active investigation as police try to piece together what led to this horrible tragedy. The family and neighbors hoping the killer or killers are caught and soon. In this time of profound sorrow, our hearts go out to the grieving family, friends, and the community mourning the loss of Chastity Nunes and her daughter Zella. May the warmth of cherished memories provide comfort and the outpouring of support from the community serve as a beacon of strength as they navigate the challenging road ahead. 
May the spirits of the victims find eternal peace, and may the collective resilience of those left behind lead to healing and eventual solace. Our thoughts and deepest condolences remain with all those affected by this heartbreaking tragedy. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.